All right, what is going on, guys? Today, we are doing something a little different. Um, <laughs> normally, I would just make like a TikTok video, right? And, you know, I'd get five, six, seven TikToks and we'd go through each and every one and break them down and I'd like react to them and say something about them. Sometimes I criticize them. Sometimes I find them funny. You know, that's typically a TikTok video on my channel, right? That's, that's how it works. Um, you know, we get some TikToks, we go through them. This one is a little different. We're, we're taking a look at, at one singular TikTok. So this is going to almost feel like my other commentary videos that I do on like actual, you know, YouTube style videos um, where I'm like pausing and kind of critiquing each point. But, um, <laughs> you know, we, we have quite the TikTok. So we're going to be doing that with this TikTok. Um, yeah, so, you know, with that being said, Let's just go ahead and, and get right into it because I honestly, I don't think I can explain it any better than if we just start watching it. So let's go ahead and do that. If you let another girl step foot in your car, that's a body. If you laugh at a girl's joke, that's a body. If you're pouring liquor down a girl's throat and it starts dripping down her chin and you do that thing where you, you wipe it with your thumb, that's a body and you're most definitely ran through. If you hug a girl and rock side to side, that's a body. So, I mean, as we could see, um, <laughs> there's a lot happening here, right? Uh, apparently, everything, everything is a body, right? Um, everything is a body to this girl. Um, you know, going by this girl scale, I mean, holy shit, dude. I'm going to have like fucking 300 bodies by the end of this. I mean, are you kidding me? If you if you hug a girl and rock, I mean, okay, I guess not everybody's going to do that with every girl that they know, right? Okay, but occasionally, I'm not saying I haven't done it, right? With somebody that I haven't been, uh, you know, dating, like, you know, just in a friendly manner, Um you know, like, I don't know. I'm sure other people have. I, I'm not alone in this, right? Right? Like, I, I didn't read a situation wrong. Please, somebody tell me I didn't read a situation wrong. But, <laughs> you know, like, the social anxiety is coming out here. But, um, yeah, you know, like, I, that's not crazy. If a girl is in your car, like, dude, come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, come on. You have to give people rides sometimes. Like, Come on, dude. I mean, I, are we really counting that? We're really counting that. I mean, that's crazy. She takes a selfie in your car. I mean, this is all this is all stuff that happens. Like, if you're a dude and you hang around, like, women, if you aren't just, like, some, like, dude who only hangs around dudes, if you hang around women at any point in time, some of these things are, are, are almost guaranteed to happen to you. So I guess your body count is just going up automatically. Um, you know, so far from what we've seen. Now there are some things. Um, for example, the the wiping the the chin thing. Um, that's a little that's a little crazy. You know, that's a little that's a little much. I, I she she kind of has a point there. I don't think I'd say a body, but like that's definitely a little more. That's a little more of something. Um, but yeah, you know, let let's see let's see what else she has in store. If a girl takes a selfie in your car and has it posted on her Instagram highlights, that's a body. If a girl plays with your chin hairs, that's a body. And I'm going to jail. If you like a girl's Instagram story, that's a body. If you're talking to a girl and you do that thing where you move her hair out of her face, that's a body. If another girl says, well, your girlfriend's a bitch, and you say some shit like, chill, that's three bodies, and I'm beating everybody's ass. Every party involved. I don't give a fuck. Dude, what? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? If a girl says your girlfriend's a bitch and you say chill, that's that's like everybody's getting the shit beat out of them? Like, what? <laughs> dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's absolutely that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Now, I, I say it's crazy because, like, this is a situation I, I have been in. Um, you know, certain relationships that I've been in, I've not been the healthiest, okay? You know, and there have been times where I've had, like, friends that are girls that have gone, like, you know, your girl's kind of crazy. Like, she's she's fucking insane. 
And, you know, I, I, I probably have some said something along the lines of like, just like chill, dude, like calm down. Calm, it's not that big of a deal. Right. Um, and that's like, you know, when a guy says something like that, that's kind of, it's kind of code for, you know, yeah, you're right, but I'm not going to say that shit about my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> you know, so it's like, you chill. Like, I, I don't want to get into the, I don't want to be like caught talking about this shit. Um, I, I don't think that that's a, that's a beat up situation. You know, I mean, I guess maybe if the girlfriend finds out about it, you're kind of fucked. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's some crazy ass women out there. Sometimes you need to pull out the chill. Um, sometimes it's, it's important, right? Like, I mean, what else are you going to do? Are you going to get in a fight with your friend and be like, nah, like my girlfriend's not a bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck you. You're a bitch. Like sometimes, sometimes your girlfriend's a bitch. Okay. You know, sometimes it's not the one for you. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, right? No disrespect to any women out there, but, but sometimes it's just, it's not a match. Um, and that's just how it happens. You know, it, it just, it goes that way. I don't think that that's three bodies and everybody's getting their ass beat. Um, but maybe, maybe to, maybe to certain, maybe to certain women. I don't know. We're going to keep going. If a girl takes your Instagram pics, that's a body. If you let another girl do your makeup or pluck your eyebrows, that's a body. If you post an Instagram story with the slider hard eyes thing, that's a body. And as a man, that's fucking crazy. Okay, there's... <laughs> every every time we get through, like, three, there's just so much more to, like, unpack every time. So, you know, if you let a girl take pictures for your Instagram... Now, I'm assuming that that means, like, they take a picture of you. Like, yeah, dude. Like, I've... I mean, I've totally, I've totally been there. Sometimes you're out hanging out with someone, um, you know, maybe you're hanging out in a group and you just kind of go up to the first person you see and you're like, Hey, like, I'm trying to take a picture right here. Like, can you take a, can you just take a quick picture for me? And then like you, you end up putting it on your Instagram later. Cause maybe you like, maybe you like the picture. I mean, who cares who the fuck took the picture? Like, God damn, dude. Like, I'm just trying to take a nice-ass picture. Why do we got to be so picky over who's taking my fucking picture? What does that even mean? What does that... That doesn't mean shit to me. I'm, maybe I'm going to get, like, fucked over one day because I don't know. Like, is that supposed to mean something? Like, that doesn't... That that means shit to me. Like, I could care less. Um, You know, also, like, if you get your makeup... Like, if you let another girl do your makeup or pluck your eyebrows... Or, like, whatever the fuck she said. Like, what does that mean, dude? Like, half the time when girls do this shit, they're just trying to, like, make, like, they're trying to, like, mess around and be, like, funny. You know, like, oh, you know, let's do, like, his, let's do his makeup or, like, let's do something like that. Like, there's been situations where, like, yeah, dude, like, I've had, like, mascara put on me or shit like that. And, like, it's funny as fuck, you know, like everybody's like oh like that's hilarious like whatever you know you go you go on about your fucking day or whatever um and it's just like a it's just like a funny moment like i, I don't know why why everything's gotta gotta like mean so much that i guess i've never been in the situation of like having a girlfriend and having that happen like i've had a girlfriend do it to me um and it was like a, it was funny you know it was goofy for the moment and there's been times where i've also had like friends do that to me um and same thing like it, it's goofy for the moment i guess they've never overlapped i guess that could be kind of like you know what the fuck like if you were gonna do something like funny like that why not do it with your girlfriend but i don't know um and then there was also a third one which i've i forgot oh the the heart emoji thing i don't know what the fuck she said i don't know if it was a filter or an emoji and she was like and that's kind of crazy if you're a dude um the thing is with dudes we don't really get like the um you know the joy of using filters <laughs> like women can use filters and it's cute dudes use filters and it's weird 
Um, so, you know, I don't know. That's kind of like a double standard, right? Like dudes use, dudes use filters and it's fucked. Have you ever seen a goddamn guy use like that, that puppy dog filter thing on fucking Snapchat? It's horrendous. It's fucking horrendous. As somebody who like thought that that would be a good idea at one point, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, dude. That thing looks terrible. That it looks fucking terrible. Um, nothing good comes out of that if you're a guy. Um, so yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to keep, she's got more. Don't worry. She has more in the fucking magazine. So we're still going. If you let a girl wear your hat, that's a body. If you play fight with a girl, that's a body. And if she says, that's two bodies and you should probably get tested. If a girl asks you to do something and you say, yes, ma'am. That's a body. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? There's so much. There's so much. Everything's a body. Everything's a body, dude. If you let a girl wear your hat, you know how many times I've done that, dude? I used to be an avid hat wearer. There was a point in my life where I would not leave the house without a hat, dude. People would take that shit all the time to try and be funny. And now that does kind of mean something. Like, I understand that one a little bit. But, like, it just kind of happens sometimes, you know? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm seeming really sketchy, like, in this video. Like, I seem really um, not loyal. But, like, a lot of these are, like, I don't If you're, like, in a talking phase with someone, like, all this, all this stuff should be okay. If you're in, like, a long, like, incredibly, you know, crazy, like, year like over a year over two year like long super long relationship and you're doing this stuff that's probably like not okay um but a lot of this stuff like even if like you just started dating or like you know you're like still in that time where you haven't really drawn the boundaries yet it's like i, I don't know you don't got to go like crazy about like this stuff like getting in the car or wearing a hat or something like that I, I don't i don't know um but yeah there's other ones um i kind of forgot them uh, hold on let, let me go back and watch them real quick i gotta be precise with this stuff dude like do you know how fun play fighting with somebody is like that's like a that's like an all-time high dude you know like you're you <laughs> you're having a good time if like you play fight with somebody or like i don't know like maybe maybe i just have too many friends that are like you know women which is probably a red flag for some people out there and like you know i don't know these are people that i've known for like a long time and sometimes it just happens where like i don't know you know you'll like meet up or like you know you're meeting up and seeing each other for the first time in like a while or something you're just good friends and i don't know you like you mess around with each other. You do like the like air punching thing where like you act like you're punching them, but you're just like punching it. Maybe they do it back. Like I, I don't really see that big of a problem. Like, especially if you've been friends for a while, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And then also uh, the last one, which was something. I don't know why I keep forgetting these, dude. I, I swear to God, I have like fucking short term memory loss or something. Um, it was something stupid. I don't know. I got to go back again. God damn, dude. This video is falling apart. Oh, okay. So if some, if a girl asks you to do something and you say, yes, ma'am, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, I say that all the time, like, all the time i do it like to anybody though like you know i'll just do it like the like stupid you know like if somebody asks i'll be like yes sir like um like no problem i got you um or like if a girl does it like i will say like yes ma'am like i got that um i don't know maybe i'm ran through maybe that's what <laughs> maybe that's what this is teaching me definitely ran through um uh, maybe i am Maybe I belong to the streets. Um, maybe that's maybe that's what's happening. If you ever try to lift or squat another girl because she swears she's so heavy, that's a body. If I say a girl's name and you correct me on how to say her name, 
that's a body and i'm beating your ass if you have a girl on your close friends or private story that's a body okay now we're now we're getting real crazy right i've never squatted a girl one i'm not that strong so that's not gonna happen two i would be way too afraid to like hurt somebody so uh yeah you know we're we're clear on that one now correcting names i'm like stingy as fuck you know um maybe not stingy is the word i'm like annoying i'm annoying okay um if there's like any little thing that you fuck up on i'm i'm gonna be that person that's like uh actually it's it's like this um and it's not so much that i mean it like that to like try and be annoying i'm more trying to be funny but uh yeah that's definitely something that i i would i would probably do um and i don't really i don't like i don't really see the harm in that <laughs> like I, I i guess it's like like that's just something i would do to be like playfully annoying you know um and having a girl on your close friends or private story um <laughs> i mean that's like that's a little far i don't know um i feel like once you once you pass a certain age your your private story more just becomes or not like your private story but like for example like your close friends on instagram um that just becomes more of something like I'm doing something crazy and I don't want like my coworker or my parent to like see me doing this um, or like my grandma or something. So I don't have to like talk about it at the next family function like that. That's what I use mine for half the time. I'm literally just on there. And like anytime I'm posting to like my uh, my close friends, it's just code for I don't want my family members to see this because i don't want to have to like explain it to somebody you know like that's that's really all i use that for so obviously like most of my friends are on there because i don't really care if they see stuff or not um but yeah i don't know let's keep uh let's keep going if you give another girl your hoodie because she's cold that's a body and most definitely not your problem if you give your girl co-worker a ride home that's a body if you give a girl a piggyback ride, that's a body. Okay, so the the hoodie thing, the hoodie thing, the hoodie thing. Um I'm like a walking closet. Um that's that's about the <laughs> that's about the best way to uh to describe myself. Um I have given out so I've lost hoodies. There's hoodies that I've not gotten back. Um, you know, some I, I don't know where they went um they just they just disappeared um and yeah you know i i so i'm definitely guilty of that one um because i will do that now most of the time when i do that it's not necessarily because i'm like oh you're cold let me give you a hoodie like that's what it seems like to a lot of people right but deep down inside i know most of the time that i'm doing that i'm like damn dude i'm getting way too hot in this hoodie and then if somebody just happens to ask me at the right time, like, oh, I'm cold. Can I get your hoodie? I'm like, yes, <laughs> absolutely. It makes it so I don't have to carry it and I get to take it off. Like it's it's a win-win. Um, it's a win-win situation. So yeah, that's kind of how that goes. Uh, giving a coworker a ride home from work, that's just being like a, a good person um i don't really see the the issue with that at all that that one's like one of the way more tame ones on here so a lot of these are like i could see how that could cause an issue um that that one's not really an issue at all um i mean who knows that the co-worker could be some 40 year old woman i don't know maybe you're working at like nordstrom rack um, and it's some like 40 year old woman whose car broke down and her husband like died in a fucking train crash or something i don't know um you know like that's that's not really the most suspicious thing in the world um yeah and i don't know there was probably one more but i don't really care to comment on it so we're just gonna keep going forward if you hold the door open for a girl that's clearly a good distance away that's a body and if you as a man have tiktok and post on it every video you have posted on your account is a body Oh, 
oh my god dude we got so much we got so much to unpack here holding doors i hold doors for everybody i'm a big door holder call me the goddamn doorman okay i'm always there always holding the door um it doesn't matter if you're a, a girl if you're a dude if you're a fucking old ass lady or if you're you know five years old i'll probably hold the door open for you just because i'm trying to like be nice you know if you're there and you open the door and someone's like i don't know six ten feet behind you and you look back and see them just hold the door for that you know why make them go through the effort of like you know opening the door when you could just be like oh like no problem like i got it you know you'll feel good about yourself you help someone out you know that's awesome now as for the tiktok thing um your boy has a tiktok uh some people don't know that. tiktok just just fucked up my recording but if you don't know this um there is a skeleton key tiktok um, it is a very real thing. I have posted TikToks. I'm not the most active on it. I could be better, but you know, I am a guy and I do have TikTok and I have posted on TikTok. So she says every single post on TikTok is a body. So let's go ahead and let's, um, you know, let's just count my posts one for one. I'm sure I could probably do this a lot quicker and a lot easier, but, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this the painfully painfully hard way so um i have one two three four one has a community guidelines violation so i don't know if we're supposed to count that or not but i'm gonna count it so five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this one also has a community guidelines violation so uh you, we're still gonna count it though 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So, uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I guess it's over for me. Um, I guess I'm ran through. I guess that that's what <laughs> we learned that um, from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, this video was just for fun. Um, when it really comes down to this stuff, it's really about, you know, talking and, you know, with the person that you're with or the person that you're even talking to, maybe if you really feel like you want to turn it into something. Um, it's important to, you know, kind of talk, get a feel for boundaries, stuff like that. Obviously, certain things are, you know, okay at some points and not okay at other points. Um, so yeah, it is, it is important to go over all of that. I know I did kind of just like shit on her this whole video and I was like, ah, you know, like, ah, I do all this stuff, but, um, you know, not all the time, right? Not all the time. There's certain instances where it's not okay. There's certain instances where, you know, you should know, yeah, I, I probably shouldn't do that. Obviously when you're single, a lot of these things are, are completely fine. I mean, who's going to like really punish you for any of this stuff but when you're in a relationship don't get me wrong some of these things are completely fine um but a lot of them do probably stir up some issues with some people so you know it is important to talk and set boundaries and do everything like that um you know just to make sure everybody stays happy so um yeah you know make sure you take care of your relationships that's kind of my piece of advice for this video um with that being said though i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe i appreciate it as always have a wonderful rest of your day i will see you guys later goodbye it's definitely ran through